Hey guys, Omar here. I'm going to be doing another episode of Omar's Gear Review, and today I wanted to compare the Sky Surfer Reverb by TC Electronic to the Hall of Fame Mint by TC Electronic. Uh, if you want to just skip to the sounds, I'm going to be talking about the pedal beforehand, so I'll put a clickable thing somewhere. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the Hall of Fame Mini first. So this is a mini version of the Hall of Fame, and the difference between the two is the Hall of Fame has four knobs and a toggle switch, so that would be the effects amount, the decay, uh, the tone, and then there's a bunch of different presets, including a tone print, uh, which we'll get into, and it has a toggle switch for um, the length of the pre -delay. So the where they have similarities would be the tone print um, functionality. So on the side here you see there's a USB in, so you can actually hook up both pedals to your computer and you can change the presets uh, that way, and on the tone print app, um, on your computer or on your phone, there's hundreds and hundreds of different apps. What I do is I beam it with my phone, and I'll show you guys that in a second, um, and that way you can get all the different presets that are on the bigger version on the smaller one as well. This is basically TC's bread and butter. This is what they're known for is their Hall of Fame. So since this came out and their new line came out, they were bought by Behringer. Um, and if you guys are unfamiliar with Behringer, that's probably a good thing. They're known for being basically an entry-level um, guitar company. Their pedals run around $30 Canadian. I'm not sure what the conversions are, but you guys can figure it out. Um, they were bought out by Behringer, and uh, they came out with 13 new pedals, of which uh, 11 of those pedals have the same soundboards, the same innards as the Behringer versions. Um, one thing that they really improved on is the Behringer pedals had plastic casings um, and they'd often die. I had a, their delay pedal, that was my first delay pedal, was a Behringer delay and it died probably within six months just from using the pedal. These things are built like a brick, they're really solid. Um, and yeah, so there's three presets on it. There's spring, plate, and hall, uh, and there's a switch here. Um, this is... Uh, uh, digital reverb. There's a reverb mix uh, and tone knobs and one of the cool things is the mix at noon you're gonna have the full amount of reverb and full amount of dry signal and as you go past noon it's gonna start taking out your dry signal. So if you crank it all the way up you're only gonna be hearing the reverb which can be really useful in some settings. Obviously these are very different pedals but if you're considering buying one one thing that's really going to stick out to you is the price. So this is $69 Canadian, this is $139 Canadian. This is basically twice as much money. But the question is, is it twice as good of a pedal? So let's plug them in and uh, we'll hear them back to back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to beam the different presets, like for spring I'll, I'll beam the, the preset spring one, uh, plate, preset, plate, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Alright guys, so everything's set up. I've got my Squire Classic Vibe Telecaster. I've changed the pickups to Fender American Standard Telecaster pickups. That's going into the two reverb pedals, which I have on the ground in front of me, and you can see in the little cam there. Um, that's going into the Epiphone Valve Junior. Uh, I've done a video on that, so if you want to check that out, feel free. I got, I'll put that somewhere, you know. Um, and that's being mic'd by an SM57, going into an Apogee Quartet, and Logic. Pro 9. Uh, here is my clean sound. Let's start off with the Hall of Fame. This is uh, on the Hall setting. I've already beamed that to the pedal. Sky Surfer.
Moving on to the plate, here again is my clean sound. Let's go to the Sky Surfer. I've changed a, a couple of the settings because uh, it's a little bit um, brighter, the plate setting on the Hall of Fame, so I, uh, sorry, it's a little bit darker, so I've turned down the tone now a little. Now for the spring setting, here's my clean tone. Now for the Hall of Fame. And now for the Sky Surfer. seen my videos before, you know that I'm a big TC Electronic fan, and personally, I like obviously the sound of the Hall of Fame many more. Is it worth twice as much money? I'm not really sure, but I'm glad that I have both. This one is going on my uh, gigging board because it's smaller and it sounds better, and I want to sound as best as I can live, obviously. This one's a good one to have at home because it doesn't sound bad, it's not the best sounding reverb. But uh, it's nice to just have at home, and I don't want to have to spend another $140 to get another reverb. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this worth twice as much money? Is that twice the pedal? Are you guys considering getting one of these pedals? If so, which one? Comment below. If you guys have questions, comments, which one you like better. Like it, share it with all your friends. TC Love.